So next is soy sauce. Or you can call it shoyu in Japanese. Soy sauce is again uh, the made from soybeans and water, salt, and using the koji. Again, like a miso. Koji is added to do the fermentation. Normally it takes six months or even longer. That long fermentation process gives the, the tastiness we call the umami uh, to add the beautiful uh, the flavor into the sauce and also that uh, breaks down the starch to give the sweetness that makes soy sauce tasty and the slightly sweet beautiful flavor and uh, well known all over the world but again same as miso um, some company just uh, omit the long fermentation process. So they add uh, some chemical to speed up the uh, fermentation process, which means that the, that sauce doesn't have any deep flavor or sweetness. What they do is that to add additives or MSG or um, uh, corn syrup or sugar. So that's why, again, it is very important to look at the label. So for example, this one use organic whole soybeans, uh, organic wheat, water, and sea salt. So it's quite simple. Um, so even though that the soy salt say naturally brewed or honjozo, that naturally brew and honjozo means that they're doing the natural, uh, the, the fermentation process, but I've seen the soy sauce, it's a naturally brewed, but look at the label ingredients and find some interesting the ingredients are written. So uh, please don't just uh, believe that the what they say, you know, naturally brewed or whatever. Um, always uh, trust in the label. That's very important. Um, the soy sauce um, obviously use wheat, so, um, many people are these they having the gluten intolerant but um actually the during the uh, fermentation process gluten is actually uh, disappeared uh, but so you actually don't need to worry too much about the wheat contents in the soy sauce but if you are really worried you can always use tamari that is um deeper flavor of the version of soy sauce which doesn't use uh, wheat so you can always use a tamari so that's the soy sauce <laughs>